So we can remember the routine that's uh, the two words community and, and inquiry are the keys to it. Inquiry, we're looking in a deeper way than we normally would at uh, whatever material, in this case this passage. Uh, community, we do it in a supportive way. But by support, I don't mean that we <coughs> will all agree with each other. If we all agree with each other, we'll do okay, but probably a better discussion if we have some disagreement. Uh, but we'll disagree and we'll agree in a community type way. Uh, we won't be slagging each other, there'll be no bitterness in our disagreement. Uh, we won't be laughing unkindly at the uh, points people make. Of course, we'll be laughing at the jokes that Stuart makes, but then uh, Okay, so, and remember I'm asking you, uh, when you come in with your contribution, can you start it with, I agree with, this doesn't declare, or I disagree with that, because then you're, you're coming. That keeps the argument all tied together. So, could we start with, um, uh, which of, those, of Claire's points do you want to make? Is it the fact that she's the powerful? No, women do say this is a result of the Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at the second, the second part of Claire's last question there. Does it affect our reading of this passage that it is the speech of a woman who's famous as a result of being married to a powerful, famous husband, man? Okay, Claire, so could you kick us off? I feel that on the women's passage because Like Nikki says, but like she's a bit a busy woman, 
she got a lot of things to do. Really, being like a wife and a mother, she's also involved in politics and charity work and things like this. She's saying so, like like the people she's talking about in her speeches, she's got a lot to do. So you saying it's the, the She's an example with it herself. What she's talking about, she's an example of it because she's several different things in one person. And how is the when you see Bill Clinton or Park to play in the government on face, what do you mean? But to see Mr. President, so I think he made them the history to try and solve the problem. Right, what? Right, what? What was the game? Could we be trying to remember that? I agree with that. I disagree with that. It was one of the Mickey's points that I disagree with. I think America definitely and this thing where they have to build a picture of themselves, they have to be idealistic. You have the American dream, you have the American image. And I think that, especially when it comes to the First Lady, that they always, they're overly portrayed in the homely way, uh, in the way that they should be the good wife, they should be obedient to their husband. She always has to play that role. And I think it would, I think that uh, it totally undermines the speech completely because she has to play a role, she has to do charity work, she might not particularly want to do the charity work, but it is ideal that she has to follow them. So by doing this, I think she undermines, it undermines the whole thing because she has to do fulfilling image, she has to fill a, a sort of dominated role and it doesn't give pro women's rights, she has to do this, she doesn't have her own right to follow, she's actually uh, just a sort of bolt on to this. So, so you're saying that the, the very uh, role of president's spouse mm-hmm. is a, a subordinate role to the uh-huh. president. Yeah, would, would it be the same if the if the woman if the president was a woman? With the it wouldn't be the same if the president was a female. She she would have more power because uh, she's not an accessory. And what about the the, the president's husband? Well, if he was doing it in a it would just be another accessory as well. He doesn't have any real... He's just an accessory. It's, they're not actually, it's, it's not actually a woman in power giving a speech to a world champion. She, if she had just never married the president, she would have even had to have the chance to go up and say that speech instead of someone who's actually fighting for those rights. Like a real feminist, a real woman fighting for women's rights, she would have been better off saying it rather than she just got sick because she's trying to explain. Right. Lucky than you. I disagree with her because Claire's saying that if she would my father being married to Bill Clinton then she wouldn't be in a position to do that. Fair enough, she wouldn't be in a position but being married, married to him doesn't mean that she's an accessory because she's not an accessory, I think she's a real clever woman. But if you take like for example what all the scandal with Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, she she could have done what made some of the son and that she stood by him, but that wasn't because she was just like what Claire's practically like the little housewife that was picked by a man. I think she was really, really clever about that. And she knows that she, if it wasn't for Bill Clinton, she might not be in the position to give speeches like what she's done in this conference. But that doesn't mean that it should undermine what she's saying because she wouldn't be there and she wouldn't be saying it if she didn't believe in it a lot. It just means that she happens to be married to him and this gives her the opportunity. But that's a good thing because people know that she's the President of the United States' wife. She's married to one of the most powerful men in the world. People have got to listen to what she's got to say. She knows she's got the power and she's trying to use it for people that are amazed in such a good position as her. If people were doing it for like starving children in Africa, maybe they would be saying anything about it. But I think people don't think she's an accessory. Like I said, she's involved in politics individually. It's got nothing to do with Bill Clinton. And I think it just happens to be that she's married to him and that puts her in a position to help people. And she should use that position. Yeah. I just agree with you. I think, you see, uh, just because she's in that position that she has a valid point, you say, I I don't don't agree with that. there's so many people that are accessories to power and they, they don't have valid things to say but just because they're famous they have a right to say it. That, like what about Michael Jackson? He He's famous and he says you can put the children. Is that a right? Just because he's got the opportunity to say it doesn't necessarily mean that 
he's right or it's his opinion. There's so many things in history, like um, uh, different great philosophers saying speeches, they have their public opinion, they have to say to people what they think are moral, right, or what they should say, but they have a personal opinion. That might not be her personal opinion. She might never have, she might not care about poverty. She might just like sitting in the White House playing with her dogs and eating candy and whatever. Right? She, that might be her. She might just be saying this because she's a president's wife because she has a moral obligation to say it. That's her public image, her public persona that she used, but not a personal one. You don't know a personal one? I, I, I was going to stop that one there, but that's your face and thoughts there, Eddie. That's a really good question. Even going back to Michael Jackson, he's saying his own point of view. She's giving her point of view here. She's trying to get across what she believes in. She doesn't have to do this. She's doing it because she must want to. Yeah, but she's saying that because she wants to be famous. She's not saying that because she wants to be the famous. Yeah, she's not saying that because she wants to be famous. She's saying that because she wants to be famous. So she's doing it because she wants to be famous. She's doing it because she wants to be famous. She's doing it because she wants to be famous. She's doing it because she wants to be famous. She's doing it because she wants to be famous. She's doing it because she wants to be famous. I artistically, uh, the film is split. I've seen a few movies and it's about like the president's wives and the fa actual background of the family. And uh, it's the women and the families. It's like based on actual fact, like the amount of trouble that they go through, like with cameras on and about this constantly because they're the president's wife, they're in the trouble they go through, all the trip and all that kind of stuff. That they've got to put up a good fight just to stay married to them. So that being the same would be. Already, some strong viewpoints on the politics, right? And Nikki? Um, I do not kind of know what I want. Hillary Clinton, she's a, she, Nikki did say that she was a strong woman, right? And I think it would have been her strength if somebody had said to her, Nikki Clinton, would you give a speech on women at the United Nations for a public conference? She, she's a strong woman, she could have said no. I agree with Nikki because she's also as well as being a strong woman, she's a very, very busy woman and there's probably thousands and thousands of charities that would have been approaching her at this time and asking her, will you represent us? And it's so angry that she feels strongly about that she has the right to speak about and she obviously is this is I think this is a a topic like close to everyone's heart because I think every and everybody every woman's heart they feel as if that things in this fact this speech are true and how they fit and get to be one to represent it. And that's what she's talking about in the passage we have to represent the people that came into here. I 
agree with your point. Um, I'm, I'm not a feminist, but I'm no, like, pure. I, I, I'm no, I sit in big places of the point, but I, <laughs> depends. <laughs> um, which you're saying is true, because if something happens to a woman, it affects, it can affect the men around it, it obviously affects it, it can affect everybody around the list of a death in the family, right? And say it's like the male parents' relatives. Well, obviously it's going to affect the male parents as well. So it's going to be brothers or cousins or whatever. It's going to affect them as well. It's not going to just affect women. Every, things, can, things that happen can affect the men around you as well. It doesn't just have to be the women. And I think if a woman says to a guy, you don't know how I'm feeling, well, if the guy is like trying to put across the point, why would you do this? And the woman says, um, you don't know how I'm feeling. Well, obviously, yes. Yeah. Because if he's asking, then he obviously must have some idea that you're upset or something's happened or something's wrong. Yep. Yeah. So, sorry, Kedja, then you, you finish off for this one. So, Kedja, your point. Okay, I'm going to give the Stuart and the Kay totally here. I think it is. I think it's all about equality. I think sometimes women think it's them against them. It's always someone that gets male against female. I think I think we should stop being this male against female. We should try together and be one. I think we we get stronger together and if there's a inequality that women think they're feeling is among you and maybe maybe it is due to things like these <coughs> charity meetings and these and these events and T V and radio, the way the way women are portrayed and the way men are portrayed from each other, the we made to different from each other, but it has quoted and it has said that we're so alike and okay, we don't understand each other in some ways, but in a lot of ways we do, and in a lot of ways we have so many things in common. Okay, so, as you said, these, these problems from like, like, like 26 to like 30, mm -hmm. who is it you're saying should join together in order to fight against these? Who am I saying? Well, okay, we've got like to fight against all these things, um, like dying from disease and things. Okay, you have women, women being forced into prostitution, barred from uh, opening bank accounts in certain countries. The fact that, that women suffer uh, more from uh, malnutrition than, than men in a lot of countries. I think we do want to go to school. That, that type of thing. That kept kind of thing. Okay, let's ask that right. The disease, diet and disease, is everybody from, treat, from being treated. It's sat on there. Okay, you've got doctors, you've got nurses, you've got people, you've got council, social workers who can help. Maybe not in some countries, you don't get the kind of people and you don't get as much compared to other countries, but I think if we, if you have these doctors, you have these doctors, you have social workers, there's lots of people, psychologists, I don't know, but there's lots of people in the NHS, I know UK only has it, but in other countries there are people who are willing to get out their own lifestyle and get out what they're doing to go and help some people, because I know I was, I was in mind going to help other people, and I know there are, there are a lot of men Men are, it's always seen that men wouldn't want to leave their family or leave their country and go leave their friends and go to that country, but some men are highly trained and will be willing. Anybody back back to your friends would you be willing to another country? Yeah. Men would be willing to go in our country to help fight from these diseases, malnutrition, poverty, economic deprivation. People men are willing to do this and will do it. Uh, if they give them a chance and the choice to do it, they will do it. It's just this or only the women are going to go to our country. Okay, I would go to our country, but as a Japan, some men would as well. They get they should give be given the choices just as much as women to do these things. Okay, let's just keep it like put it back in. You want to make a last comment in this clip? Yeah, I want to just <laughs>
basically seen my sin it because I've been about what men do for women. It doesn't it doesn't give the whole speech. If it gave the whole speech, then maybe we could say, yeah, it's been sex against men if we knew the whole story, but we don't. So we can't say it's been sex against men because as far as we know, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree with them. I'm just going to say that we're talking about what's going on, what's no, no, what's going on, we're talking about what's going on, what's going on, I agree with them because how can you say how bad it is for women if you have no go to them? We are against how bad it is for men. It's a thought about equal. If there's nothing there to judge it against, you can't say, oh, well, this is really bad because compared to men, you can say compared to men, that's you making a universal comparison. So you can't know how, how bad it is, unless you know, unless you both speak. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, clear. Now, I, I'm I agree with you and disagree. Um, it's hard to say, <laughs> because, well, the passage is about is women, but it doesn't fairly portray men. But the whole point is for being equal and being equal, you portray each other equally. It is very pro-women. But it does have parts for equal turn. It's like in every woman, every man, every child. <laughs> 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 so what might um, so it, it, this is why every woman, every man, every child. But it is a passage on women. So if you were doing a passage on dogs, you wouldn't start talking about cats. So that's how I'm about. But it does seem to say fathers and brothers are not allowed to go to school, but if it's true, how can you mask it? Mm. Um, I about, I said about it. Right. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what are you, what are you saying? We have found evidence here that it does mention men, and again, if you had a dog, you could talk about a cat. Um, I feel that what Nikki, I'm very high on what Nikki was saying there, that in some countries you do get this high amount of men who do, yeah, who who do it actually tell women what to do and how to do it. Women at least wear nail polish. I remember I get a silly one quoting that um, a woman was caught, I think one time we went in India, was caught with nail polish off, where she got her fingers cut off from wearing nail polish. People, I know in some religion they have to cover up their faces. Can I remember what religion is? Is it actually? Uh huh. They have to cover up their faces. That is, you know, the men think, oh no, oh my god, they see her face. You know, that is portrayed as quite a high thing. And, quite negative if a woman, a Muslim woman, is seen without covering up her face. Again, some women are married off, I know that much as well, are married off half the time they don't even want to in some countries. That is showing in the forceful nature of men and what men can do. I think this is the thing we're actually trying to portray here. It isn't to undermine. Men are slightly being put down here, but it is because to try to show how much women have been put down and have been told to be insignificant compared to men. So are you saying then that if a, if a situation is sexist, then if you examine it, you're likely to be accused of being sexist, doesn't it? Uh-huh. But you're saying it's not sexist. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're saying that the intent of this writing isn't sexist. Uh-huh. The intent of it is not sexist. But she's examining a situation. Yeah. That is sexist. That is sexist, but the intent of it is not to be sexist. She's just shown that in some cases you do get sex. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get sexism. And <laughs> okay, right. Right, Ian. Back. Agreeing, disagreeing, right? No, actually. I thought about. Right. Then I thought about. Uh, a passage of the dogs, you don't talk about any of this. No, the main part of this passage is human rights. It keeps coming back to the point of human rights. Human rights is man and woman. It's not there with just women, which keeps coming back to how fairly women are untreated. Men are treated just as bad sometimes. You don't hear, but anyway, it just everything seems to be always for women. You never get anything for men and women. You can't be sexist. It's always women's rights, women's rights. You tip, and it's always been a bit of negative. Over the years, everything has got better. It has gained a lot equal, which it should be. But it's always going about your rights. You're never going about human rights. As it's going, women's rights should be human rights. They are. That's what they're trying to make it all the time. So you are always, you've always been next to men. So are you arguing that the cat-dog analogy isn't really accurate because 
I thought man, women are both human Aye. and beast. Can you not differentiate, differentiate between man and woman when you're talking about the uh, politics? It should make the difference because the real thing is like equal rights. Obviously, when you talk about like, uh, genetic families, it's different because no being women don't have to look after it's the case that women have to leave what they have living, obviously, can't have it in the middle of what they're doing. Male, 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 male